Hello and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Action Man 1998 Special Forces figure and also the Special Force kit. So let's take a closer look and see what they both came with. Okay, I'm going to start with a Special Force kit because uh, I've got this in a pack. Yes, the pack is quite tatty but I thought, well, I've got it in there. I'll show you before I open it. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the box art of the Special Forces figure just there. Uh, the bubble packaging and then obviously we've got an Action Man logo on the front. Yeah, mine's all beaten up. And then we're quickly going to flip it round. It shows you what's actually included inside it. Again, the same picture that we just seen a minute ago. And then one of my favourite things is an actual diorama using the figure itself. Not computer generated, but um, someone's actually sculpted and made that whole set. These fans here definitely look like they've come out the back of an old PC. Um, but yeah, so let's open it up. As you can see, there's a Dr. X here. Unfortunately, there's a big sticker over the top of mine. And there's an X on the building just there. Um, and I'd love to have a big, big full-size po poster of that. Okay, so let's take a close look at the Special Force kit. We do have this Action Man logo just on the top there. Lots of nice detailing going all the way through. It is a quite a big backpack, but luckily it's quite light. Uh, we do have two pouches on the side, so we have this small gun here and that can fit in on either side, uh, just like that. It holds it in okay, but if you tip it up it does come out. Um, and it does have to go in a specific way because of the shape of the uh, actual hole. There's actually a flat bit on the top of the gun, if we could show you there. So we've got a curve and then a flat bit. Uh, so it can only go in one way. It goes in just like that. Then if we spin it round, as you can see here, we've got these straps on the front. Again, nice texturing going all the way through that. Uh, you've got these notches here, so if you want to have it a little bit higher or lower, you can. This strap is really, really long, um, but I've got a feeling that's because the Action Man itself has got quite a lot going on himself. So we'll try it on him shortly when I get round to that. Again, more texturing going through the back. Uh, I'll give you another look at this gun here. It is quite small, quite a stocky gun. Uh, it's got like a banana clip, but also two of them strapped together for um, quick reloading. Uh, and then a black handle that's painted, a small stock. Uh, it doesn't come out, unfortunately, just to give it and make it a little bit longer. But I suppose it makes sense for him trying to be tactical and uh, manoeuvring to have a small sidearm, or well, a small rifle with him. And then it's got the scope going on the top as well. Uh, yeah, so that looks quite nice. Nice that they've actually painted it. Uh, again, detailed. It's just a little bit on the short side for me. But then we're going to move on to inside the backpack so this is has to go up just like that and then the front folds down uh, and in there you can see that we've got some headphones and we've also got uh, lots of dials knobs and buttons going on then we have this uh, like satellite dish there is a hole for it to clip onto just there um, but how it shows it on the packaging is you're supposed to take that out and put it up there it won't close if you try and put it in that position it'll just keep falling down like that uh, but yeah, that's textured really nicely too. Again, paint going on in the middle uh, and detailed really well. It does look like it'd be a, a spiral-like bowl that, um, what, what, how would I say, that it like folds out and all folds into itself, how it's overlapping, as you can see there on the pattern, if that's coming through. That's what it looks like anyway. Then we've got this screen in the middle, if we can try and get that without too much glare going on. Uh, and it is a map with uh, lots of like indicators showing up on it. Uh, is that actual text? Or are they just lines? No, there's no actual text on there. They're just lines on the stickers. You can get it to focus again. There we go. Uh, but yeah, looks really nice. Uh, lots of detail going around with the screen again, painted uh, with a sticker in the middle. Then if we go on to the headphones, they just slide in and out again. Lots of nice detailing, lots of lovely paintwork going on there. It just really makes it pop. Then we've got the headphones uh, that go on here. Mine are a little bit tight, but that might just be because they're new. I don't want to pull them too much. Uh, but I think they're going to squeeze the Action Man's head quite a lot. Uh, but again, nice detailing going through. Nice paint application. All in all, this is a, a really nice set and a really nice backpack for this Special Forces figure to have or to put him on top of the back of a communication specialist or something like that. Uh, but all in all, I like this one. I think it's just the straps um, I think would have been better if they'd have been black. Uh, but obviously you're going to lose a lot of detail um, in there if you have it all moulded in one colour. So then you close the front up and then you close the top and that's what holds it all together. <clears throat> so with the backpack on, as you can see here, because he's so fully uh, full of his equipment and everything, it's just not going to go over the top. It just will not fit round the side uh, enough to close it, unfortunately. So that is a little bit of a shame. Um, but yeah, he's so kitted out anyway that uh, it's never really going to fit. Um, but yeah, that is just unfortunate. 
Okay, onto the special forces figure himself. There's a few things I have to point out um, that are wrong with mine. Uh, I don't actually have the proper projectile that goes in there. Um, the strap that I have for the binoculars is actually missing, so it's just improvised with a little bit of rubber. And then also the cord that I've got, I believe, is from like the 4x4 kit. Uh, they're very slightly different. So all in all, I think they're the only differences that I need to point out before we get started. So we've got a lot to get through here, so let's get cracking. Uh, we've got these style of binoculars here with the weird bit on the side. Um, nicely moulded, seen these in plenty of sets, mine have actually been a little bit chewed. Obviously it would come with a strap, I've just got a little bit of rubber here from a old set of goggles that I've cut up. Um, but yeah, we've seen these binoculars, they work really well on him, they look nice and he holds them incredibly well. Then we're going to move on to these bolt cutters that we've got here. Again, nicely detailed going all the way through. We do have an Action Man logo. Uh, shame they're not like dual molded uh, or coloured and painted or anything. We don't have the Action Man logo on the back. They don't actually open or anything. They are just one solid piece. Um, so it would have been nice if there was a little bit of functionality to them too. But all in all, they look the part. Then he comes with this hammer, which can be used for obviously like smashing down doors and everything. He holds this really well, big massive lump hammer. It does come with the Action Man logo on the top. Uh, I think this has been used in another set as well where the top was actually painted uh, and it makes an incredible difference to how it actually looks because with it just being all solid black, uh, it just looks a little bit plain, but it is textured all the way along here with a wood texture. If I try and bring that in, there we go, as you can see. So then we're going to look at the shotgun. This one comes with an over barrel launcher. It's nice enough, nice and easy enough just to pop that off because I don't really like the look of that on this figure. Um, the projectile that comes with it has this style of head. Um, this one's obviously very chewed and mangled, but it comes with that style of head there. Uh, but this one, does it go in? Oh, maybe this is actually one that, the correct one for it. It's just in a bad condition and that shoots off. So yeah, it looks just like that, but obviously not chewed and mangled as much. Then we move on to the Spaz 12. Again, this is really, really nice that we've got two, uh, actually got paint work on this one. The paint work is the black. So it's molded in the green uh, with the Action Man logo on the side. It's a shame the stock doesn't fall down because I think that would have been an amazing touch. Uh, but this is probably one of the best looking shotguns that we've ever had from the Action Man line. Uh, I really, really like that one. Detailed all the way up, holds it incredibly well uh, and looks just as it should. Then the next weapon that we have here is a knife and that just fits into the sheath on the side which is part of his tactical vest. It's this knife here, it does actually have more paintwork going on. It's an old style knife that we have seen before and he holds it really, really well. It's quite a chunky one. Uh, but it fits in there and works with it. Then onto the side we've got another holster which is on the leg and we slide that out. And we get this Uzi with a folding stock. So he is fully kitted out, this guy. He's got so much stuff going on with him, um, which is really nice. The stock can be missing quite a few times if you're buying on the secondary market, so just keep your eye out for that. Uh, but yeah, highly detailed going through again there. Um, it does look like the ammo clip would come out, but it doesn't, thankfully, because it would probably get lost and no one would have one in their collection. But all in all, I quite like that Uzi. Then another thing that we've got in this set are grenades. I believe we have three of them. And if we clip them off, if I can, that's quite tricky. There we go. Uh, it's this style of grenade that we've seen many times before. It's actually in a gold, molded in a golden colour. Uh, obviously, the ring pull, little tab there, which clips on and holds on the back. You get three of those included, and there's just little uh, three little notches on the back of the uh, vest so that they slide in there nice and easily. Then I'm going to go on to the helmet, and that just clips off. I'll show you a bit up close with that one. So that comes with a helmet, which clips on on the side there. It has like a single hole on either side. It does come with foam padding, which keeps it on his head nicely uh, on the sides and on the top. And when that's closed, uh, yeah, it just looks really good with a gas mask on the front. Move around here, more detailing going on. They really went all out with this figure. Uh, and I can see why so many people like this as their favorite. Then we've got a huge torch on the side there. And then also included, we've got these fold down night vision goggles that just go over that. And that can clip on and off. As you can see there, there's just a small peg and then a little hole in the night vision goggles. And look at that, yeah, more good detailing, mold work that we've got going on there. And they just slide on and they move up and down really, really well. The functionality of this helmet is great. So when they're down, they fit perfectly over the eyes. They don't impede on the mask or anything. So whoever put this one together and planned it, I think they did a fantastic job. Then also included, we have this like grapnel. 
Uh, if, mine's all probably going to be tangled up. It's going to be quite difficult to get all this off. I'll try and do it as quick as I can. So then we've got this rope. Like I said, the rope that I've got here actually is from the 4x4 mission and the difference is that it's got two ends like this rather than just one and one piece of string. So it actually normally does just come with one of those. They can rotate, uh, which again is a really nice design because when he's hanging and swinging, it can swivel. Uh, which makes all the world a difference for him when you're trying to pose him or play with him as a child. Then also what you get is a grapple. Uh, obviously you can see there I've had to put that hook through there but you just tie the string through that normally. There's just a little tab on the actual uh, shaft of the grapple. Again that rotates so it does can come off and can be missing so just keep your eye out on that because if you're hanging your action man off it and it's worn down so much it will just pop off. Uh, but again, yeah, that can be fired from the under barrel launcher. It doesn't go very far. Let me put that in there. If I can actually even get mine to stay, I think mine might be a little bit bent. But yeah, it'd go in there. You press the trigger and it fires out. Um, so then on the vest, if we can get it on camera, as you can see there, he slides. Oh, well, that's probably can't see there. You can actually get him to slide up and down this, and it's quite a slow motion as well, um, rather than him just shooting down. Included in the instructions, it did tell you how to feed it through here and the special way that you feed it through this notch on his belt so that he does slide down slow because otherwise if you don't feed it through correctly he will just like rock it all the way down and probably break a leg. That is connected then with this plastic tab and this plastic tab. Just be careful pulling on them because they can snap off. There's just two plastic pegs that go through the back and they can snap off, unfortunately. Then we've got the detailing going through here. Now, this is where I think it is lacking a tiny bit. Obviously, we've had everything going over the top of it and it looks great. But I just think a little bit more paintwork in here would have been fantastic, you know, on the ring and on a couple of the ammo clips. But all in all, you can't really complain that much. We've got a great molded Action Man logo in the back. A nice strap going on up here. One of the things I wasn't too keen about with this set is how the shoulders ride up with that. Uh, I don't know how they could really improve that. Maybe a little less rubber around here just made it a bit smaller. But yeah, they just stick up just that little bit high, which all, to me just always looks a little bit odd. Then the figure uh, is fully articulated. He does have the blue underpants on there. I'm not going to take everything off because it will just take forever. Um, we've got this big like boiler suit which has got the velcro on the back with a high neck uh, so it hides his whole neck and face when he's got his helmet over the top uh, obviously which is what you want as you can see there it covers the whole thing then we've got these oh if I can get it off without breaking it then we've got um, this face sculpt and we've got these style of gloves that are actually molded onto his hands all the great range of articulation. I think that would have been the biggest letdown if this figure didn't have full articulation. Um, yeah, so the suit can be a little bit big and a bit baggy. I don't know whether I wouldn't have minded it a little bit tighter. There's a lot of spare material there. You could probably fit two legs in. Um, but I'm just nitpicking now. And the boots that it comes with are this style here. You can get them a little bit closer for you. Just like that, round there, and some nice texture on the bottom. So they either work quite well, you can't quite tuck the uh, overalls into it, uh, so they just rest over the top like that. But all in all, just wow. Just look at all the stuff that came with these two, uh, well obviously minus the kit, but it, just this figure on its own. Look at everything that came with it. I mean, you could kit out three Action Man with all the stuff that you've got included in this figure. It looks nice, it works really, really well. So much play functionality in this figure. I can see why it's in many people's number one spot. So if you can try and pick one up, I'd highly advise it. Um, whether you can get it loose, trying to find all the pieces is going to might be a little bit difficult. A lot of it is reused. Like I say, they've reused the hammer, the knife, the grenade, the launcher. Um, I think don't know if these were used in too many sets. The binoculars definitely were. Um, the Spaz uh, shotgun is obviously a little bit more difficult to come across. I don't think this was used in many sets either. The helmet obviously is three-piece, so trying to get a complete one in a good condition might be a little bit tricky. But because it was such a popular set, there were there are a lot of them about. I think people are just a little bit more reluctant to let go of them if they're complete. So they might be paying a little bit more for them if you are after one yourself. Okay, so just a quick after thing here I've managed to uh, actually get the backpack on it's on the very final strap going underneath his arms and I had to put it over the top part not the bottom ones which I actually thought and um, so it stays on but like I say it's only a one clip I've not tried equipping all the equipment around him 
It is high over the shoulders, but it needs to be high to go over, obviously, the grenades and stuff that we've got on the back. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the um, grapnel to go slide down behind that, unfortunately. Uh, but just to show you that you can actually get it on with the strap. Um, the vest on but unfortunately it's just a little bit odd looking so I pr probably wouldn't include them both on together at the same time.